Gotcha, gotcha. Can I get a burn? Can I get a burn? Yep, gotcha. I gotcha. So, you might notice I am only an Ultra Ball tier. That is because the only battles I have played were battles that I played with that really crappy team with the Monkey Dory that we recorded a video with. This, however, is a real team. Two moons. Deimos, Phobos, and Mars. So yeah, interrupting myself here because I'm allowed to do that to tell Brady to edit in this segment to tell you that I am now partnered with Gamer Subs. Recently, you might have noticed that I've been streaming on a treadmill to get my steps in. This is because the Pokemon World Championships are in Hawaii this year, and I'm either going to show up shredded or not show up at all. Actually, I'll probably just show up in pretty okay shape. And that's not easy to pull off. Having the energy to do this is really rare with me being so busy during the day, only to come home to stream to you guys and Brian Hands. Gamer Subs provides me with delicious energy formulas to get me through my day will also give me the energy to get through my workouts and long content recording sessions. But not only do they have energy formulas, they also have a caffeine-free version of every flavor on their website for those of you who want to enjoy a delicious drink later on in the evening. These flavors aren't just tasty though, they're also super low calorie and have six crucial vitamins and minerals for your body, including vitamin B12, C, and D3, which I know is actually great for me because I have to take a vitamin D supplement as it is with how much time I spend inside working on these videos. You can support my channel by clicking the link in the description down below or using code MOXIEBOOSTED at checkout when purchasing flavors such as Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000, Grandpa's Ashes, or Blue. So what are you waiting for? You can support my content and get some great supplements through that link in the description right now. As a matter of fact, by using my code, you can try GamerSub samples totally for free, but only for a very limited time, so be sure to check it out right away. I recommend the caffeinated products only to my audience above the age of 18, so my link will actually send you directly to the caffeine-free product section of their website just so you know. Okay, we're good. Brady? Brady, cut back to the video. What are we looking at? Uh, I mean, it's just like Ogre Pond, Tailwind, Hyper Offense stuff. Uh, I get a lot of value out of like Iron Hands, Lander's Lead. My Trick Room option is pretty good into this too. Honestly, I could lead off. Um, I could like burn the Terra immediately and that wouldn't be that bad. It'd be really easy to get that off. I'll bring Iron Hands in the back just because I feel like a lead intimidate is going to be a lot more useful than a couple other things. You guys can't hear the treadmill I'm walking on, right? Show them a walking treadmill. That's what's underneath me right now. And I always get self-conscious that you guys are going to hear me like breathe too hard. Like, man, is this guy winded playing BGC? Speaking of freaks, this is a freak in nature. That's Dragonite. So we see the inner focus. Um, likely going to get taunted here. I might have freaked it. I'm probably just going to get taunted. <sighs> Do I assume I get taunted? I assume I get taunted. Is that Sinashaw a masterpiece? No, he's just okay. I just want to lower that damage so I can send out my Iron Hands next turn. Yeah, there's the Terra Normal. You know, I know I said I'm assuming I'm going to get taunted, so I'm going to Strength Step. That is just because I'm like, I don't feel like fishing for burns right now. And I think I can just like set up for late game if I drop the attack. Wait, how slow is that? It's really slow. Oh my god, why are you Aqua Jet too? I'm pretty sure Extreme Speed would have done more. No, I'm like 100% sure Extreme Speed would have done more. Alright, well I guess we can Trick Room now. Alright, uh, let's go for that Trick Room. I can do it now. They did not feel like taunting. Get in the Iron Hands. Get in Brian. That was a really weird turn one. I thought they would taunt. Always click the super effective button. Honestly, in Ultra Ball tier, you're kind of right. You're kind of right. Alright, this, this is a really good spot. Most Fluttermane don't actually run, um, like, Focus Sash right now. So I should be able to, like, Heavy Slam basically for free. And then heal off of the, uh, Tornadus. So I'm gonna go for another Strength Sap just to get all my health back. Obviously, I could go for the Macha Gacha, but I don't heal as much from that. And even though Tornadus is a special attacker, its attack stat's high enough where I can get all of my health back. There's the Fluttermane. What is it going into? Dragonite? Okay, you're not gonna eat the Heavy Slam too well either, buddy. Sunny Day. What is he doing? Guys, I don't know what my opponent's doing at this point. I really don't. Like, I'm, I'm very confused. At this point, I think we just, like, Macha Gacha Drain Punch. I mean, they can, like, double out into Fluttermane, but, like, I still get some damage. I I'm just very confused at this point. Okay, they are trying to stall out Trick Room by being cheeky with it. He's getting cheeky with it. No, no, this isn't an Ultra Ball moment. This is someone who is actually kind of thinking. And I hate when people think. Oh, he finally went for it! Okay, but I mean, like, Wild Charge is safe too, you know? Decent damage. Fluttermane should drop to, like, Wild Charge plus Macha Gacha, so I can just get rid of Fluttermane here. Give me, like, one reason not to Terra Fire. Well, actually, I can think of a few. Terra Ghost endgame is actually a little bit better if I get rid of that Flutter. There are two turns left to Trick Room. There's, like, no downside to this. Like, I have to get crit by the Bleak Wind Storm. Yeah, they're being smart. Like, at first I was hating, but they're being smart. Never mind, this was not that smart. <laughs> he just let me take the Flutter Man. Alright, let me get all of my health back. Let me gotcha. Can I gotcha? I'm gonna gotcha. I crit him? I did not got him. 
I did not got it. I did not matcha got him. There's Chen Pao. Um, if ever there has been a moment where I can like do basically whatever I want and still win, it is now. I'm gonna matcha gotcha here. I mean, wild charge is safe on the Dragonite. He's gonna sucker punch me. I should like barely live the E speed. It, basically, as long as I don't miss the um, matcha gotcha on the Dragonite, I'm safe. This should let me live the sucker punch pretty easily. So they go for the extreme speed, should tank. Because I'm Brian Hands. Wild Charge was just safe there. All right, I'm going to got him right here. I can feel it. I did not got him, but we're fine. Sinistra shakes off the taunts. Twisted Mentions turn to normal. Should always go into Landers here just for the Intimidate. And now I have no fears. I just go for the Rock Slide. Gonna get Sucker Punched, but that leaves the Chen Pao wide open. Macha Gacha, Rock Slide, Sucker Punch. Cool. Basically, as long as I don't get crit here, I'm fine. They might also just taunt me. Let's take over the taunt. Unfortunately for them, I did not go for a move like that. He's gonna get godded. I godded him. Critical hit on the tornadoes too. No burn, unfortunately. I did not got him that hard. I did not got him that hard. All right, let's get in the Ursa Luna. Meet him with that Blood Moon. Bleak Wind Storm as he misses the Sinus Shaw and the Ursa Luna. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Can I, like, not crit him here? Ah, I, I KO'd anyways. I was really hoping I would click the Blood Moon, but, you know, we'll take it. We'll take it. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good first game, even though it was a weird turn one, right? Tornadus is always a really weird Pokemon to lead, like, Sinus Shaw into, but... We take those. You know, we got ourselves a little Water Ogre Pond action here. Uh, some more Chen Pao Dragonite. You know how it is. Uh, I mean, I get a lot out of this guy. I get a lot out of the Sinistra. I really do. Let's lead off with him and Iron Hands. Honestly, I, I think I bring like the same dudes. Like the exact same dudes. No Cresselia this game. All right. I mean, that's basically the lead I wanted. So I should be able to... Terra Fire here. Trick Room. And assuming they want to go for an Ivy Cudgel into... My Iron Hands. Uh, I'm gonna go for the fake out here. Iron Hands is AV. Like, they have to Moonblast here. They have to commit to this guy to KO. All right, Dazzling Gleam. I can take it. Yep. Let's go. Brian Hands tanks it like a champ. What a goat. And that's probably choice specs too. So under that assumption, Macha Gacha here is really safe and I should probably wild charge into this guy too. Cause it'll do a lot of damage, right? But it's mostly because Ogre Pond might want to follow me. Yep, let's get neutral damage here. Should survive the recoil, do a decent amount. Macha Gacha, can I get a burn? Can I get a burn? Yep, gotcha. I gotcha, hee hee hoo, gotcha. All right, unfortunately Brian has passed. Senior Moxie, your voice is quite attractive. Thank you, I've heard that a lot. I'm lucky, my voice is a YouTuber voice and it, I could, it could've been worse, you know? It's also, I think we lose. Definitely Macha Gacha. They do have Fake Out, that's an option. I'm gonna hope they don't have Rillaboom because I'm gonna protect here. <laughs> All right, please KO. I think, I think it should KO. A burn would also be appreciated here. Betty Fast Bear, yes. Dazzling Gleam, it's gonna bounce off of my Sinistra. And even if we go down to, like, half, we still get our Citrus Berry. Oh yeah, buddy. Welcome to the Sinus Cha room. Hopefully no Rillaboom, because then I can just, you know, Blood Moon and be over. Alright. Uh, yeah, I could take on Dragonite. Strength Sap him right here. Blood Moon him right there. Uh, would Earth Power do it? Can I save my Blood Moon? I don't care. Because they withdraw. They're losing something, bro. Rillaboom? Eh, that's probably AV. He's probably fine. Aqua Jet, we tank. Oh, yeah. Let me get that citrus berry. Get all of that back. All of it. Blood Moon off. That does so much. That's probably within Macha Gacha range. Let's go ahead and lower that a bit. And uh, I definitely want to hold on to... Uh, I definitely want to hold on to my Scarf Lando. Scarf Lando can absolutely win me this game if I get rid of these guys. Let's go for the Macha Gacha and an Earth Power because... They're probably Choice Band Lock. That's probably fine. I can't Rage Powder the Rillaboom, so might as well fish for a burn. Oh, yo, they're not going to like this. This is this is going to hurt. We have grassy terrain now. Fake out. That's fine. I do get the KO. Actually, no, because now I can Rage Powder. Ooh, this is the turn that Rage Powder comes in clutch because I should Sinistra should totally eat a, an E speed and Fluttermane can't protect itself. And with the spread damage, uh, Ursaluna should always live. So let me Rage Powder here. 
Let me go for this Blood Moon. Uber. He eats because he's Sinistra. Rage Powder away that Moon Blast. How much you want to bet I tank it? How much you want to bet he tanks? Shadow Ball. Never mind. He wasn't even going for it. That's crazy. That's crazy. I, I thought <laughs> I thought I was crazy. All right, Blood Moon. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night. Luckily, if they're locked into like choice band E speed, I should be all right. I can just click Rock Slide. Also, I have like leftovers recovery at the end of each turn. So here, the correct play is Rock Slide Calm Mind. Funny enough, Calm Mind here because it's funny. All right. Got that calm mind off. And uh, it's basically over. It's basically over. I genuinely hope I miss this rock slide just so I can blood moon. Nope. <laughs> awesome. All right. Ooh. 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 I don't like that. Actually, I kind of do. I think that if they go for the setup, right? They have like all physical attackers except for the, um, except for the Heatran because I don't really consider Tornadus a, a special attacker. If I get this trick room off, it's just over because I can start like setting up calm minds and terror ghosts. So I think that's my win condition. I set up an end game versus the Gouge KO everything else around. That sounds about right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's lead off with you and you and bring you. And of course, you can't leave Brian at home. We have not brought Cresselia or the Chen Pao to any game so far. All right, good lead. Good lead. Phenomenal lead, if I do say so myself. Oh, what? Guys, I'm scared. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play this anymore. I think this is what I do. Yeah, let's go for it. Sure. Sure. Acrobatics me. Yeah, we're facing defiant tornadoes, bro. Okay, thank God that's not the Ogre Pond. I, you know what? I'm going to say it. I think we tank. Am I coping? No, you are. What a fraud. Oh, come on. I don't know how much that mattered. I have a lot of physical defense. That was really bad, though. All right, well, uh, we lose. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm sorry to tell you, we lose. Uh, there's still a shot. Okay, cool. We're going to get rid of this guy. Horn Leech. We eat that pretty well. We can get it back to neutral. At one shots. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. Ah, oh, it's Rillaboom. Okay. So the good news is Iron Hands probably eats this. The bad news is we have to go Landorus here and he's probably going to get wood hammered. Tell me that they just go for the freaking wood hammer on the Landorus. I would actually prefer that because the drain punch is going to help a lot. He, he did it. He did it. We're good. We're good. We're good. He got too greedy. He got too greedy. That's rock slide range. Or at least it should be. Live. Oh, come on, Iron Hands. Brian, you're better than that. All right, that has to be Miracle Seed. Uh, there's only really one way out of here, and that's um, him not being Grassy Glide, even though he totally is, and me getting really lucky with these. All right, no Grassy Glide. I can get the flinch here. Yes, we got the flinch. Oh yeah, we're back in this. We are back. We are so back. <laughs> we are so back, guys. Come to my house with that dollar store moveset on your freaking... Are you freaking dude? You're gonna get me with that? No, sir. All right. Um, like I said, I'm gonna rock slide and blood moon here. I I, I better be missing that heat run. I missed the real boom. It's over. And then I lose. Friends, this is why we are advocates for open team sheet. This is why all competitive tournaments are open team sheets. So you don't have to like lead Landers into a tornado and be like, oh yeah, it's not gonna be defined. And then it just is. Uh, that's an impul. This is like a full hail team. It's like a full hail team, bro. De All right, so I'm hoping it's Ice Body on the back's caliber and not the um, not the good ability because Ice Body is a set that's running around right now. That being said, uh, this is certainly a game for this guy. Actually, this is a game where I can like absolutely cook my opponent if I'm being smart about it. You in the back, and of course you. Also, if you're watching the live stream, you know make sure you make sure you leave a like on the stream. That really helps a lot. This also applies to the non-live stream watchers. And if you want to support the channel even more, trying to make the I'm trying to make the transition to being a full-time YouTuber, you should totally become a channel member. You get the, you get your name at the end of all the videos and you get some bonus videos too. Good lead for me. Um actually a pretty phenomenal lead. Even if they like scald me. Or actually, Empoleon doesn't get scald. What am I saying? I can just trick room. Free trick room. I really want to get an Iron Hands emote. Guys, in chat. Um, give me some, and also in like the YouTube comment section, if you're watching this, give me some ideas for emotes for the live streams. Flash cannon is going to bounce off of me, bro. Eh, more or less. Let's get my boy in. His time has come. 
Is it too early? Yes. Am I doing it anyways? Yes. <laughs> Magma Storm Addiction, that is something I'm fighting, yes. All right. No Terra, so I can one-shot with Heavy Slam? That'd be cool. I actually had an idea for um, a hoodie I want to sell. It's like the I'm Kenuff hoodie from the Barbie movie, but it's I'm Wo Chenuff. Hi, Sarah Ledge. All right, let me calm mind up here. Scare him. Scare him. Let me go for this, uh, let me go for this here, uh, this here wild charge. Why not? You should protect. It's trick room. I one shot you with earth power. You should protect right now. Do it. Do it. Oh, he's going to Terra Grass Terra Blast, isn't he? It just dawned on me that that's an option they have. They shouldn't run Terra Blast, though. That's a bad move on this guy. You should be Terra Grass, but like, if you're running Terra Blast, I think that's throwing for the most part. Doesn't Zapdos have access to Wetter Ball? Yo, don't scare me like that. Please don't scare me like that. They're not running that. Bitter Blade, that should bounce off of me because I am Ursa Luna. Oh, they crit me. Okay, never mind. Hurricane, do I die? I don't die. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I'm confused though. That's great. Great. Awesome. Awesome. We love when this happens. Very cool. Um, So I'm going to Blood Moon and I'm going to get in Sinistra. Can we, like, not hit ourselves in confusion? That's truly all we need this turn. That's really all I need here is don't hit myself in confusion. All right, Ursaluna. Hit him with the beam. Okay, cool. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. He got beamed. All right. Keep this one. Earth power the blo or Earth power the Empoleon. One shot it. Get in the Cresselia, snap out of confusion, and then go to his house and eat all of his uh, pizza pockets. You better not hit yourself first, Luna. Oh, he's protecting, huh? A wise guy, huh? Snap out of confusion, we're good. Just dodge. Just dodge. Watch, he's gonna hit me and confuse me again. Oh, we're good. The snow has ended. My leftovers has been activated. I no longer wish for this game to end immediately. The twisted dimensions have returned to normal. So what do we do here? It's quite obvious. We protect. And we trick room. <laughs> yes, yes, it's quite obvious. Yes, this is what we do. Just so you know, I always picture Ursa Luna Blood Moon to have a British accent, right? Regular Ursa Luna, he's just talking like he's got an American accent. He's like, hey, you know, what's going on, guy? And then like Blood Moon Ursa Luna standing up. He's like, hmm, yes, yeah, quite the nice evening, yes. That's not even a British accent. He's just haughty. Don't ask me to do British accent. I cannot pull it off. It always ends up becoming Australian. Cress, the goat. All right, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to Terror Ghost just so he can't like one shot me with Hydro Pump in case he doesn't protect. You're going to the Shadow Realm. I'm sending the Zapdos to the Shadow Realm. I'm getting really, really annoyed with all these hurricanes. And yeah, this is just covering my bases. This is just covering my bases. I don't want to get like uh, Hydro Pump or Hydro Pump crit in like one shot. Granted, we have the special defense of an Ursa Luna, so even if we do get hit with Hydro Pump, if we get crit, we do just drop. All right, the evil has been slain. Check it. Yep, what did I tell you? Literally, I said that, I, that's exactly what I was talking about. I said, I said, I'm gonna Terra here. So if he hits me with the Hydro Pump, we don't die. And then it hit me. I was like, oh, you know what? If he crits, we still drop because we're freaking... We're, we're Ursa Luna, dude. <laughs> what did I say would happen? Exactly that. All right, buddy. I've had it up to here with you. <laughs> I have had it up to here with the Sympoleon, bro. I, let it be known they have yet to miss an attack this game. They have yet to miss an attack. Not only are they losing to me, but they're losing with all... They're, they're losing with the power of God on their side. Air Slap. I didn't even know you got that, bro. That's crazy. I kind of hope my Sinistra flinches so I can have one more thing to complain about. Nope, no flinch. Okay, I can't complain. Alright. This is a uh, screen's Okie Dogie bulk up stuff. Actually, Okie Dogie Ogre Pond is a really strong combo. I get a lot of value out of Trick Room this game. That's all I really know right now. I could do Sinistra lead. Terrifier would be really good too. I think we'll go Sinistra. Blood Moon. Is Crest good? Uh, I think I get a lot out of. I think I get a lot out of this dude. Yeah, I think we have the advantage here. Ogre Pond and Okie Dogie are on the same team. They don't have good team synergy. It's sort of like Mario Super Strikers, you know? You have to have good team synergy. And they don't have that. They don't have that. No, sir. All right, people, this one. Fake out. Trick Room. I really hope they just, like, Ivy Cudgel on me. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat that, like, Rhesus Puffs, bro. Like, Rhesus Puffs. All right, no terror coming from their side unless it's, like, a really slow Grim Snarl. SD incoming? I could not care less. Fake out. They Ivy Cudgel me. I'm gonna eat that up. Nothing. Literally nothing. 
All right, um, I can't prevent screen, so I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna go for the Drain Punch and the uh, Strength Zap. Oh, as they spike your shield here. Are they gonna Parting Shot? Why would you do that? That is the wrong screen. I could have one-shot you. I could have I could have Heavy Slammed. Why did you do that? <laughs> I I guess here, let's go for the Heavy Slam into you, and I'm still gonna Strength Zap. I don't want him to set up. Yeah, I, you should always go for the, <laughs> you should always be going for the Reflect first. They had that in the reverse. Yeah, that would have KO'd, I'm pretty sure. All right, don't have Swords Dance. Just be like a bad set. Oh, they are a bad set. Cool. Cool. Uh, let me go for the Drain Punch and the Macha Gacha. And that, that combo should do it. This also covers for a possible Arcanine switch. The only thing it doesn't cover for is Fluttermane, but considering I've Heavy Slam, they should never go Fluttermane. Is a Parting Shot. I really hope that's just Arcanine. I, dude, if they go Fluttermane here, they're playing like some 9D chess. No, that's Arcanine. Cool. Got him. Yeah, they don't have Sword Stance. They, they, they don't... Oh, jeez. That's a crit. Am I within E-Speed range? I hope not. Yeah, that's a pretty unfortunate crit. E-Speed... I'm not in range. Cool, we're good. Let me get all of my health back. Nom, nom, nom. Cool. Stop me Tantrum. That doesn't KO me. Are you kidding me? Really? Bro, that I'm so done with this guy. I am so done with this guy, bro. All right. Um, I mean, technically, I go Chen Pao here. Drain Punch, Protect. They should E-Speed me every time. He might be Scope Lens. He could actually be Scope Lens. That could be the set. Oh, wait, no. He can't be because he's the Fire Mask. No, it's just straight up luck. If they don't switch out this Ogre Pond, I consider that a throw. I think they should always switch it out. It's not doing anything for them right now. Cool. How do I deal with this? Hopefully they just go Fluttermane. It makes my next turn a lot easier. It's Grim Snarl. Uh, is that Heavy Slam range? It might be. I think it is. Uh, let's just Heavy Slam. And I shouldn't ever get one shot unless they have Fake Out. So here I'm going to go for the Lash Out because if they Terra, then Ice School Crash is resisted. Okie dokie, alright. Is they Parting Shot? They forget that I'm Dark type. This is what I mean, like... I, I really genuinely think this would be over by now if they didn't get those crits. Why lead with Cha when the ability gets wasted? Because you still have Rage Powder, Trick Room, and an unflinchable Pokemon. Or an unfake outable Pokemon. Why Lash Out and not Crunch? Intimidate exists, so Lash Out's more consistent. So unfortunately, I think Ursaluna is going to get sacked. And I protect here. They haven't Terrored yet. That's my concern. They bulk up. All right. How do I do this? How do I not lose? I only really see one out, and it really sucks that this is my out. Let me protect. Go right back into Iron Hands. All right. Show me your Terra. Okie dokie. I'm cool with that. Terra Dragon. All right. We have a chance. We have a chance. For some reason, they made themselves weak to Chen Pao. I can't tell you why. I really can't. <laughs> yeah, Ivy Culture here. Can I not get crit? Of course. I am getting absolutely robbed. Can, can we agree I'm being absolutely robbed at the moment? Light screen wore off. That's great. All right. Here's my win con. They need to protect the, uh, they need to protect the Ogre Pond here. Yeah, this, this Ogre Pond has crit me like half of the turns of this game. So now it's time for me to crit and or flinch. I don't care which one. I just need one. They don't protect. Ivy Cudgel, can I flinch you, please? Please flinch. Please, bro, please. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I think I just win. All right, that's Lash Out range. I don't need to risk a miss now. Unfortunately, this comes down to a 50-50. Do they protect or not? I'm just going to assume that they protect the, uh, the Ogre Pond. I, I literally can't afford to not attack the Okie Dogie. Nope, they don't protect. I was right. They went for the worst play. Literally, I, I told you, like, literally, this entire game, they've been getting carried by, fl by like, crits and stuff. At the end, I shouldn't expect them to make the correct play. I should just disrespect. I should literally just always disrespect there. Alright, now I just have to not get crit. My win count is don't get crit. Let me protect for a little bit better of a shot. I haven't seen them click a grass move yet. It's just been Ivy Cudgel. 
What if they don't have it? It's Horn Leech. Okay. So I should survive a Horn Leech as long as they don't crit me. Um, and they should drop to Blood Moon. Do not crit me, please. I'm an Ursa Luna. I can take the Horn Leech. Okay, we're good. Good game. This has been the most frustrating match of my life. <laughs> I think that was the worst game of Pokemon ever, dude. If, if that person's watching the channel, I'm sorry. I'm not usually like this, but when I get crit and stuff, like, I get a little bit salty. It's, you know, it's hard to get me salty. It really is. Michael's good at it. Not many other people, though. Worst game of Pokemon so far. Yes, true. So true. All right, let's check this out. Sunroom. Let's go, Sunroom. Um, I mean, I'm Safety Goggles Crest. That could absolutely mess them up. I do have access to Fake Out. I go Crest and Sinistra, maybe? No, that's that's weird. That doesn't do anything. I think I go Crest Iron Hands, and that's my best bet. I'll bring the dude in the back, and I get a lot of value out of you as well. All right, they're going to lead Sunroom. They always do. That's a rule. And here I go for the bop and the bop. Just a little bit of super effective damage as a treat. Granted, it's Ice Beam from Cress. I'm mostly just trying to get some uh, some damage, that's all. Oh, great, they're Covert Cloak. Awesome. Oh, we take those. We take those. <laughs> what did I, did, did they just think I would drop to that? Okay, maybe they felt bad about the cloak. Maybe they said, man, I shouldn't have been Cloak. All right, let's see what we got. Oh my God, who is that? That's Kevin Sports. Oh, you're kidding. This is the team. This is my team, almost. That's gonna be, uh, it's copycat on the Chansey. I, I, this is my concept. I tweeted it out like a month ago. I know exactly what you're gonna do. This is like basically my team, except I had Wo Chen over the, um, the Blood Moon. Cresselia really like annihilates everything this team wants to go for. I'll lead Cress Iron Hands. Uh, Blood Moon in the back. Sinistra, that seems pretty safe. Carbink and Gamora. Whoa, way cool. Carbink is slower than me because it has to be very, very slow to do this. I'm gonna Ice Beam and Fake Out because I can ignore Gamora. I can ignore Gamora for now. Gamora does not KO me. Yep. What does the Muck even do? It clicks Minimize and you copycat it. They go for Mortal Spin, that's fine. I have Lunar Blessing. Basically, you can win if you just deny them the, uh, the Guard Swap. They go for the Earth Power, that's not gonna KO me, Stinky. Heavy Slam, Ice Beam, no Trick Room for you. All right, I should be able to Lunar Blessing this off, but it's going to be a little scary. Where can I get this team? There's a rental of it floating around somewhere. I bet you Kevin's recording, so Kevin, I'll link your video when it comes out, if it comes out after mine, or before mine, I mean. Muck the Stank Master, bro. So I don't know if Kevin knows this, but um, I think I always Terra Fairy here. Something else I can do is just go Sinistra, heal up, go for this Heavy Slam. Oh, Chansey's not going to like that. Possible Terra Ghost on the Chansey. I also never activated um, Toxic Debris either, so this is really nice. Yeah. So I don't know if you know this, um, but Minimize... <gasps> oh, he's about to find out. He's about to... He might not know. He might not know. Minimize um, actually doubles the power of Heavy Slam. Let me go back into Cress. I don't really need this guy out. Also, Heavy Slam can't miss. Yeah, go ahead and tear a Ghost. Go ahead. Yeah, Heavy Slam also can't miss Minimize. Go ahead and copy that. Yeah, it doesn't quite work without Trick Room, huh? <laughs> doesn't quite work, huh? Let me, uh, Lunar Blessing here. Go for another Heavy Slam. Before I start hitting the muck. Bam! Lunar Blessing, get all that health back. Thank you, sir. Get rid of that poison, too. That nasty poison. Try Seismic Toss me, maybe a knockoff. Soft Boiled? No, sir. No, sir. Go ahead and minimize again. See what happens. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and uh, Lunar Blessing again and go for that there uh, Heavy Slam. Lunar Blessing. Heavy Slam. I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows. Yeah, there's a reason I, I came up with the concept for this team and then didn't use it. It's this. It's that Heavy Slam is everywhere. Oh yeah, dude, Dragon Rush is a minimized counter and not a lot of people know that. 
me go into you. Let me go for the uh, heaviest slam I can conjure. Kevin does know he talked about it in the video. Eh, I guess. Oh. Little hospitality. A Sinistrat tanks. Go for the heavy slam. Wee bit of damage. Wee bit of damage. I'm immune to that. Thank you. Let's go ahead and rage powder away. Go for another heavy slam. There's the power gem. Gonna tank that because we're Sinistra the goat. Heavy slam. Bam. I hit him with the slam jam. The space jam, in fact. Why am I doing that? <laughs> Alright, Macha gotcha. Heavy slam. And that's the forfeit. We did it. We've defeated Poke Sports. We did it. Shout out Poke Sports. You guys will be in the description. If you're not subbed to Poke Sports, make sure you are. Alright. So that's the team. So that's the team. Uh, normally I'd do a rental code. This is a tournament team, which means it is a Patreon exclusive. Sorry, everyone who wanted the team. Uh, Patreon or channel member. As you can see, we have channel members on the screen right now. If you guys want the team, this is a bonus. You know, just, it won't be for every team. Like, teams in the future that I don't bring to tournaments are for everybody. This is a tournament team, though, so it is a Patreon exclusive or a channel member exclusive. But yeah, Brady, you can keep this part in. A lot of people don't know what I look like. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you know, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Brady, do the Patreon scroll. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, thanks. Have a nice one. Bye. <laughs>